hi guys welcome back to my channel it's selling sewing tutorial in the building in today's video we are going to make the trendy boo kaftan dress with collar so you can use any plain fabric of your choice you can use ashoki is fine so i'm using this satin fabric and this ankara print so i have not so much of this ankara print i have less than two yards of this ankara print so thankfully my client is on the slimmer side so I've gone ahead to fold this Ankara print into four places, which is one for the front and one for the back. So I'll be using the total length of this Ankara. It's going to be like a three-quarter booboo, not a long booboo. So the difference between this and a long booboo is just the, the length. So if you want to make it in a long version, you just increase the length. So the total length of this Ankara print is for six inches. So I'll be using the whole of it. So right now I'm going to go straight into imputing all my body measurements, starting from the shoulder. A shoulder is 15 inches divided by two. We have 7.5 inches. So I'm going to impute 7.5 inches. So from the shoulder, then the remaining part is going to serve as our sleeve. Is a kimono sleeve. Is a kimono sleeve. So, but I'm going to add like a two inch band to increase the sleeve with the plain material. So I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope and from there I'm going to determine where our bust point is. Please don't forget we are using the bust point, not the round arm or measurement. We are using the bust point. So our bust point is 10.5. So you use your bust point. So from there, from the tip also, I'm going to determine where our half length is. Half length is 17 inches. And from the 17 inches for me to get to our hip line i'm going to place my tape on that 17 6 17 inches then i'll take 8.5 i'll rule the lines together so after ruling the lines together next what i'm going to do next i'll start inputting around body circumference so starting from our boss i divided our boss measurement by four inches then i added one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance giving me a total of two inches i'm going to do the same thing for the waistline and for the hip line so a waistline waist measurement divided by four plus two inches like i said one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance a hip measurement divided by four plus two inches one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance so when I get to the tip of the fabric, what I'm going to do is just, you're just going to transfer whatsoever measurements you have at the hip line, just transfer it to the end of the dress. You don't need to add, you don't need to subtract. So just transfer it and you connect the lines together. So guys, I've gone ahead to connect the lines together. If you look at my waistline, you can see that I did a little work there. When by the time I finished connecting, I had a sharp waistline, which is what I don't want because this is not a fitted dress. So I just had to co come out from what I have there by um, and I connected it with a curve. You can see the curve. So for the sleeve, also I just connected with a curve. I just use my free hand to connect with the curve. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start imputing the neck opening. So I'm going to use three inches for my neck depth i sorry I, I use 3.5 inches for my neck width then my neck depth for the front is a v neckline so i'm going to use 8.5 inches depends on how open you want it to be so i just want it this way so for my neck depth for my back i'm using 2.5 inches i decided to use 3 inches because the color that i'm using is 2.5 inches so i had to come down more with half an inch so giving me my neck depth for the back as three inches so i connected it together so i'm going to cut that off then i'll connect the um the v-neck for the front with a straight ruler you can see that i've done that so also i've drawn my shoulder slope so i'll cut it out but before i cut the excess of the fabric as i'm going to determine where i want my pocket to start and where i want my pocket to end so from the waistline i came down by one inch and from that one inch i took a total of seven inches so that means from that one inch i came down from that is where my pocket will start and it's going to end at the seven inches mark i made there so i will notch that for me not to, for it to be easy for me to fix my pocket so next i'm gonna have to cut the two inches band for my sleeve for the tip of my sleeve 
so i cut a total of 2.5 inches on fold so by the time i join it together with half inches we'll be left with two inches so this is how it's going to look by the time i finish joining so next what i'm going to do next i'll set this aside then i'm going to remove the back bodies of this dress then we'll work on the front body so first of all i'm going to cut my neckline for the front bodies so after cutting this out this is the satin i will be using for the collar i have a total of six inches wide so when it's on fold will be left it will be three inches so by the time i sew with half inch will be left with 2.5 inches on each side of the dress giving us a total of five inches so what i'm going to do i'm going to subtract that 2.5 inches from the body of the dress this is what i'm doing now i'm just taking 2.5 inches down and i will cut it out so i've gone ahead to connect it together you can see the straight line that i made there of 2.5 inches so i'll cut it in a way that i'll connect it to the neck to the neck of the dress i'll just cut it in a way that to be connected to the neck of the dress just like this so i'm going to cut this part out of the dress so i've gone ahead to cut it out so you can see this mark that i have here the reason for this mark is this is where my v neck line stopped so you can see that there's no neck opening so i want it i want this line to serve as a reminder for me when i'm fixing the color that okay from the tip of the dress to this part i'm going to have is going to be open to that extent so i'll go ahead and join the shoulders together so i've gone ahead to join the back bodies and the front bodies at the shoulder part together reason because i want to take the full length of from the center back to the tip of the front so i want to know what the full length is for me to be able to cut my collar so this is me taking the measurement for the full length so that we can know what to we'll use in cutting the collar so i think i have a total of 54 inches there yes from the center back to the tip of the front bodies i have a total of 54 inches so unfold that means when it's not on fold, we have 54 inches times 2, which is a total of 108 inches. So you see, this is my satin fabric. So like I said, I have a total of 6 inches and I have a length of 50 inch, 54 inches each. So I'm going to join it at the center and that place where I have the join is going to be at the center back of the dress. So guys, I'm done joining my satin my plain fabric and i also went ahead to iron interfacing on it i use soft paper stay remember this line that i'm touching we are back to this line so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the measurement from the center back to determine how many inches we have from the center back to that point where i have that short line so this is me doing it and i had a total of 12 inches depends on how wide or how deep you want your collar to be so what i'm going to do from the tip of my from the center of my fabric i'm going to measure the 12 inches that i got that 12 inches is going to serve as my neck opening then from there at the down part if you want this dress to have a slit that's left for you so i want it to have a slit and i want it to have like a four inches slit because it's a short gun already if you are if you are sewing a long gun you can decide to increase your slit to as high as 17 18 inches it's just the same method you follow whether in a long gun or short gun. it's just the difference in measurement so from the tip of the plain fabric i also came up by four inches so you can see the both line i have so i'm going to look for the half for the midpoint of this plain fabric so that is my midpoint i'm marking them so i will also look for the midpoint at this other damp part where i have the 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 line so that's my midpoint so i'll connect it to that of the front so you can see i've gone ahead to connect it if you can look see it very well so i've connected it so next what i'm going to do i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to run a stitch at this line where my hand is so i'm going to run a stitch strap okay guys i'm done running the stitch you can see it so this is how is going to look like so it's going to look 
exactly like this so this is like this method is going to make your dress very neat so by the time you turn the back of the dress you see that everything is neat you can see where the 14 inches we have so this is how the collar is going to be by the time our dress we finish sewing it on the dress so it's going to stand this way the upper part is the opening while this is the center front so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew it but before i do that you can you can um hold this down with stitch on both sides and you press it with an iron for it to be very smooth and for it to be very easy when fixing it on the dress so i'm going to just press this and and i'll go ahead and fix it on my dress so this is the center front so i'm going to place it like i said where we have the gen is going to be at the center back so that is the center back you notch it then i'll go sew it together so guys this is me i'm done sewing it together you can see the way it's looking at we haven't joined the side of the dress yet so this is what it looks like you can see the slits i made earlier so this is what it's, the front part looks like so this is how it looks like also at the back very neat so all we need to do is just to go and whip the side where we have the joining so you can see what's this so i'm just going to whip it all around it so next guys i also went ahead to fix the band for the sleeve you can see i had joined it with um half inch so with right side facing each other so this is how it's going to look like yes guys i'm just going to go ahead and join this dress by the side with just one inch and also i'll fix the pockets and we are done guys um this is the end of this tutorial so this is how our dress look. it's looking so beautiful this is our side pocket so this is it please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it to subscribe and if you have not like this video please punch on that like button until i come your way next time i'll see you all in my next video bye